Rose Bunny here. We are going to be doing your general love reading for the month of November. So this is a timeless read, Libra. Whenever you find this reading, it will be for you. Um, although I will be focusing on the energy of right now in November, this is a timeless read. And whenever you find it, it is for you. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I'm so glad that you're here, Libra. All right, sorry about that, Libra. All right, we are going to dive right in. Let's see, what deck am I using? Oh, to do, to do. I'm going to use my light seers. I was using the Oceanic Tarot. But it's really hard to shuffle and it just it's very distracting. So I'm gonna go back to this light series. Because that one is just way too hard to shuffle. And it just drives me crazy. Alright, what do we have for Libra? The person on Libra's mind. The person in Libra's energy field. What do we need to know about Libra's person, the person on Libra's mind, and the person in their energy field right now? What do we have for Libra? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for <clears throat> Libra and the Libras that watch me. What do we have for Libra, please? Okay, we're starting out with Ace of Wands. Woo! We got something new coming in, Libra. Something fiery. Woohoo! That's a lot of passion. That's a lot of sex. <laughs> you have a passionate new love relationship coming in, and it's very, very sexual. Boom! Ace of Wands passionate fiery sexual relationship but it's not a crappy connection look at that we have the lovers number six it's the number of a very deep spiritual connection cupid's arrow is shot Oof. wow so it might start out like a, a sexual relationship at first and it's going to turn into something more because your soul knows this person's soul. You guys know each other. There was an instant soul recognition. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. So, it's really crazy because we get this energy of like, boom, instant sexual attraction, right? Instant sexual relationship. And for some of you, it's going to start out like, the first, okay, ooh, I just realized that, um, never mind, there was something, it's a little bit of blood in my hands. I must have scratched something and I had dry skin and it opened up or something. Um, but, so what starts out as a sexual relationship is very quickly going to turn into something else. Whatever seeds you have been planting, as far as like this connection goes, um, they're going to sprout very quickly. So for example, if you are friends with someone and you're sort of planting these seeds of like sexual desire, it's going to just like boom, take off in an instant, like fiery chemistry. One second. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. I just ran out of water. I might need to go get another one. Um, but it feels to me like you have been planting seeds for a while. So you have been trying to manifest this connection for quite some time. And I don't know if you're going to realize it when it comes in because it will start out as something purely sexual at first. You'll think it's just like a sexual thing. Damn, see, I'm good. I just said you were trying to manifest this for a long time. It's the mother effing magician. Look at that. Two cards of manifestation here. 
whatever you've been trying to manifest, Libra, as far as a relationship goes, it's coming in. This is an eternal love connection. Look at that. There's the eternity symbol. Look, and she's got a tattoo. It's possible your person might have tattoos. <clears throat> or you have tattoos. I don't know how that's going to work. What else does Libra need to know about this connection, please? The chariot. So this person could be a cancer sign. Woo. We have, you know, chariot is a sign of cancer. It's a card of cancer. Or there could be distance between you. The chariot can also mean physical distance. Like one or both of you will have to travel to see each other, right? There could be some physical distance between you. Queen of Swords. So it's possible that, you know, this person, when you first meet them, um, they might come across as a little bit cold. Queen of Swords is, is often very harsh. She can have boundaries about her. Um, so there may be this energy of like, oh, it's just a sexual thing. There's nothing. We're not serious. Like she's kind of. If you're a masculine dealing with this energy, she would come across as someone who was like um, a little bit detached, right? It's not that she doesn't care. She just has that type of energy, you know? It's a strong feminine energy. <clears throat> like someone who gives off like military vibes, you know, very kind of stoic and cold. They may just say, oh, this is just a sexual thing, but it's not, <laughs> obviously. The hanged man. So we got to figure out why this card is here. Why do we have the hanged man? It's possible that it could come in um, really quickly and then stall out. The hangman is about pausing and waiting. Why do we have the hanged man here, please? Can you tell me why we have the hanged man here for Libra? Judgment. This person is doing a lot of self-reflecting. They're doing a lot of soul searching or you are. And so, you know, if, if the relationship starts out really steamy and then sort of pauses, it's going to be because your person is unsure of themselves. If that makes sense, Libra. One of you is coming across as sort of cold and detached and it's because one or both of you are going through like a soul searching um, type of energy. But it's crazy because look, this is definitely a past life connection. You, you and this person know each other from past lives. Six of Cups. It's a soulmate or past life connection card, right? Oh, look, we have the hermit. So both of you have spent a lot of time alone. It makes sense. You know what? This could be both of your energy. Both of you could be like sort of detached. If that makes sense. All right. Uh, let's see what the romance angels have to say about your connection, Libra. All right, what, is, what else does Libra have to know about this connection, please? What else does Libra have to know about this connection with this person? What else do we have for Libra? What else do we have for Libra? We have finances and career.
honeymoon. Woof! What else do we have for Libra, please? <laughs> Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, so. One or both of you might be struggling financial wise. So don't let that put a kink in this beautiful connection. Also, it, it feels like it's so funny because we got the honeymoon card, right? So we're coming around the times you know, the holiday times. And it literally says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. One second. Excuse me, I had to burp. So, like I said, this connection is going to be very fiery and passionate, right? It's almost going to feel like so you know how when you first meet someone and you're like in the honeymoon phase and everything is like perfect and there's lots of fire, there's lots of passion, you're both really, really into each other, right? It's There's this feeling of like newness and, and like um, the butterflies and all of that beautiful feeling that comes when you are in love with someone. And Spirit is asking you to trust, okay? They're asking you to trust that this feeling can last forever. They want you to stay optimistic about your love life. They want you to stay positive about it. They don't want you to get into this Debbie Downer energy of, oh, you know, my finances aren't up to par. I'm not um, ready. Like this, you know, it could just be just a sexual thing. What if they just want me for sex? What if they just this? What if they just that? What if they blah, blah, blah? Just allow yourself to enjoy yourself, my beautiful Libras, okay? Um, it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So don't get stuck in your head about this connection, okay? <laughs> just flow with it. Allow yourself to have fun with it, okay? <laughs> uh, you don't have to think too deep about it. We don't know where it's going to lead yet, right? Okay. But Spirit is saying, you're on this earth to enjoy yourself, beautiful Libra. Allow yourself to just go with it and have fun without worrying about the outcome or what's going to happen. Is it going to last forever? Is it going to end? Am I getting my heart broken? Blah, 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 blah. Just allow yourself to enjoy the time with the person. All right? Let's see what else do we have for Libra. We have family. Oh, look at that. So this person is serious about you, Libra. They see themselves starting a family with you. <clears throat> or if you have, you know, family, if they have family, they see, you know, <clears throat> they see, um, you know, both of you raising your children together. We have player. So <laughs> it's funny this person, remember how I said you might think that this is just a sexual connection? So either you or your person is coming across as like having player energy. So they may have been a player in the past. And when they met you, Libra, it was just like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> or maybe this is your energy. And, you know, maybe you're a player and, and this person has completely shot you down. Either way. Um, the player energy is gone. I hear, I used to be a player or, or, you know, that song, I'm not a, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. So whoever this person is, whoever this energy is for, it's like, I keep hearing, I used to be a player until I met you. It's like this person is completely smitten. Fear. Look at that. One of you is experiencing lots of fear. Try not to let that get in the way of this connection, Libra. It feels like it's coming from both of you. You know, a lot of the times when people are, you know, in player energy, it's because they have a fear of commitment because they're afraid to let someone fully love them, right? 
it's the fear of if I let someone love me, they might leave me. And so they jump from partner to partner to partner because that way they never get attached. So they might try to teach, try to treat you as just another sexual encounter, just like a notch on their bedpost. But something about you is different. And you get in. And they fall in love. Look, mystery. It's because they can't read you, Libra. They see you as a mystery. This is also the card of Scorpio. So your person could have Scorpio in their chart, right? All right, I'm going to pull a do, 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 a um, spirit message for you, Libra. This is just a random deck that I wrote messages on, so I have no idea what's going to come out. When <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what you're going to get? Whoa. Cards are being kooky. All right, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, please? Three cards for Libra. It's trying to get tired. We have spiritual. So your person is spiritual. Or you are. We have Taurus. So it's possible they have Taurus in their chart or you do. Now remember, we all have different signs. We all have rising sign, sun sign, midheaven, Venus, all of those. Mars, there's Taurus in there somewhere. And we also have Aries. So they have earth and fire in their charts. Let's get one more for you, Libra. And tattoos, I told you, I told you. I said earlier, your person may have tattoos or you may have tattoos. Boom. The cards don't lie and neither do I. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. They don't call me one of the best energy readers there is for no reason. That should be your sign to book a reading with me, Libra. I know what I'm talking about. So we're almost done here. If anything resonated, please like and subscribe. It's completely free for you. Share with all your cool Libra friends. Um, it helps me to get my message on the algorithm. If you want to book a reading with me, Libra, like I just said that you should. <laughs> um, all of my prices are in the description box below my video. All right, let's rock and roll. What else do we got for our beautiful Libras? What's up with the scales? What do we got for Libra? One card from the healing deck, please. We have a sadness. So, you might be going through a period of healing and feeling sad over the changes that have been going on around you right now, Libra. And I understand completely, huge hugs to you. I understand that the shifting of the energies sometimes can create feelings of sadness, right? The energies have been really heavy and shifting around us and it's happening very quickly. These can cause feelings of feeling like you're alone, um, even deep feelings of grief and despair for the changes that you can sense are right around the corner. But I guarantee you, Libra, the changes that are coming in are going to be so beautiful for you. So allow yourself to feel your feelings because they're valid, right? Allow yourself to grieve over the past energy that you are shifting out of because what is coming up now for you is going to be so freaking amazing, Libra. So it shows me that you are healing this energy of sadness. Some of you might suffer from depression bouts episodes as well, too. I understand that. <clears throat> All right. We have number 15, which is wild. Ooh, 
Libra, this is about letting your wild side show. Let that sexual, raw, beautiful Libra energy shine out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it shine. Come on, Libra. Let it out. Let your freak flag fly. Spirit is asking you to let your wild side capsize. Okay? Let it out. Shine your light. Scream. Fuck. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> You're only here once, right? Well, no, you're not here once. You're only you're only here once for this experience that you're having right now. But you'll have many more lifetimes, right? <laughs> All right, what is the final message you have for our beautiful Libras? Our beautiful Justice Scales. What do we have? The final Akasha card for our beautiful Libras. All right, what do we have for Libra? What is the final message you have for Libra in regards to this connection? Woo! Flew out. Oh, look at that, Libra. We have children. Number four. So, you know what, Libra? Something about children and the number four right four is the number of angelic guidance so it's possible that you have a child or it's possible that maybe your person has a child something about your children is going to bring you together if that makes sense the angels are guiding your children in a way which is going to bring you together with this person And look, it's literally in the shape of a heart, the baby's feet. That is incredible. All right, well, I hope something resonated for you, Libra. I love you so much. And it was just 2224 on my phone. Boom, you can't make it up. I love you, Libra. Bye.